Are you preparing for Microsoft Azure AZ-900 certification exam or maybe you have already scheduled the exam in coming days? In both the cases, this is a very important video for you as Microsoft has done some major changes in AZ-900 course content which you must understand before attempting the exam. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In this video, we will understand in detail what are the changes which Microsoft is bringing on 5th of May 2022 for AZ-900. I will also show you where can you find official Microsoft document having details on all these changes. So let's get started. Now on your screen, you can see the skill measure which are currently applicable until 5th of May. And then on the right hand side, you can see the skill measure which will be applicable on and post 5th of May 2022. And now on the left hand side on your screen, you can see that we have currently six major categories of skill measure that are currently applicable for AZ-900 exam until 5th of May. However, post 5th of May, we will be having three major categories for AZ-900 certification exam. You can see there has been lot of things that are removed and lot of things that are fused into the other categories. So it's very important which category has moved where. So let's check out the details. So the first three categories, you can see that they are one to one map. So you can see the cloud concept is again a cloud concept. However, the percentage of the cloud concept has been increased from 20 to 25 and now to 25 to 30 percent. Similarly, we have Core Azure Service, which will be changed to describe Azure architecture and services. Then we have the Core Solutions and Management Tools on Azure, which will be mapped to describe Azure management and governance. Please note the percentages of all these categories have been increased. So what about the other three categories? Let's check them out. So we have security and network security features, which will be again mapped to the described Azure architecture and services. And then we have this identity governance, privacy and compliance feature, which will be merged and mapped to the described Azure management and governance. Similarly, we have cost management and service level agreement. This again is going to be merged under the described management and governance. So this slide gave you details about how the existing six categories of skill measured are now transformed under just three categories. Once again, it's important to mention that all these changes will be applicable from 5th May 2022. Now let's check out the details on what are the sections which are removed from AZ-900 certification exam. So this is the first section that has been removed from AZ-900 certification exam. You can see that describe core solution available in Azure. This section is now completely removed from the AZ-900 certification. So after 5th of May, you won't see questions around Internet of Things, then Azure Synapse Analytics or HD Insight. Also the Azure Machine Learning or Cognitive Service, Bot Services, they will also be missing from the AZ-900 certification exam. Similarly, we won't have serverless computing solution that included Azure Functions and Logic App. And we will also be missing Azure DevOps, GitHub, GitHub Actions or Azure DevTest Lab from the AZ-900 certification exam. The second section that will be missing from AZ-900 after 5th of May will be Describe Privacy and Compliance Resources. So these are the topics which will be completely missing. However, one topic which I have marked in this blue color, which is describe the purpose of Azure sovereign regions, Azure government cloud services and Azure China cloud services. This section is not completely removed, but this section is merged into another section. Let's check out the details. So you can see this section, which I was talking about here, this will be now present under the section describe Azure architecture and services, which is now 35 to 40%. Under this major heading, you will find a subheading, which is describe the core architectural components of Azure. And then under this subheading, it is describe Azure regional, regional pairs or sovereign region. So this is the new place where you will find the questions around or details around the sovereign regions in Azure. Moving on, we have this third section, which will be also removed from the Azure AZ-900. This section is describe Azure Service Level Agreement or SLA and Service Life Cycles. 
So you can see all the subsections will also be removed from the AZ900 course content. Another major section that will be removed from AZ900 is describe Azure security features. All these subheadings will be removed from AZ900 course content from 5th of May. And then in the last, we have described Azure Network Security. This section along with all the subheadings mentioned here will also be removed from AZ900. One important thing once again is to note this blue color and this blue color which is describe the concept of defense in depth. This will now be available under the major heading which is called describe Azure architecture and services. And then under that we have a subheading describe Azure identity access and security. Under this subheading, you will have the section called describe the purpose of the defense in depth model. So this will be the new place where you will find the existing describe the concept of defense in depth. Now, let me show you the Microsoft official document that gives you all the details on these changes that will be applicable from 5th of May. So now we are at the official Microsoft Learn site and this will give you all the details that you need to know for AZ900. Before moving ahead, it's very important that you note that Microsoft has clearly mentioned that only the English version of this exam will be updated on May 5th, 2022. You might already know that AZ900 can be given in multiple languages. However, for now, these changes will only be applicable for the English version of this exam. I hope you already know that the passing score for this exam is 700. And now if you will scroll down a little, then you can read more details. You have 99 USD as a fees for this certification. However, if you want to know how to gain a free Microsoft voucher, then you can see this video, which is now appearing on your screen. That will give you all the details on how to get Microsoft Azure free voucher. This will be not only applicable to AZ900, but other fundamental exams as well. For example, TP900 or AI900 or even SC900. So do not forget to watch that video and you can save hundreds of dollars. Moving ahead, if you are interested to know how to schedule an exam with Pearson VUE, then this is the video that you want to watch appearing on your screen. And now moving to the most important section, which is this one, which says download the exam skills outline. If you will click on this, it will open in a new tab. And this is the PDF in which Microsoft has given all the details about all the changes that are coming on May 5th. So starting from above, you can read the existing structure or existing headings or skill measured in this PDF. However, if you keep scrolling down, then you will reach to this section, which will give you a elaborative details on what are the old objective number and what are the new subtask changes and their new location. This entire table I just summarized in this video just a while back. So if you have missed that section, go and check out the previous section and then keep scrolling and then you will reach to another section which will give you details around the new skill measure. You can see now we have one section here which says describe cloud concept which is not 25 to 30 percent if you scroll down a little then we have the second skill measure which is describe azure architecture and services 35 to 40 percent scrolling down a little more and i reach to the section which is describe azure management and governance 30 to 35 percent you can check out all the subheadings that are relevant for each major headings and you can also see if you scroll down again a little up and then you can also note the sections that are deleted. This also I covered just a while back. The link for Microsoft Learn is available in the description box. So go check out and download this PDF file and read all the details around the changes in AZ900. Now let me share my opinion whether you should give the current or existing exam or should you go for the new exam. So I would say that if you have already scheduled your exam before 5th of May, then I don't see any reason for you to stop and wait for the new exam structure. However, if you are still in preparation phase or your exam is scheduled after 5th of May, then by all means, you have to check out the new exam course content. Just to mention here that I have already created a AZ900 exam series with 191 real exam question and answer series. 
I will soon bring a new series on AZ900 that will match the changed AZ900 course content. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Many of you missed to like the video. Please do not do that because only if you like the video, YouTube algorithm spreads the video to the other viewers. So please give me a thumbs up. Till we meet again in our next video, I wish you best of luck, safe it, keep learning and thanks for watching.